If you're looking to combine images in mid-journey, this is a pretty simple process you can use and have a play with just for a bit of fun. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into my settings because I want to turn on version 4 of the algorithm. I want to make sure this is clicked because I feel like that's going to get me the best results, but also whatever the latest version of algorithm that supports images uh, is. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upload these images here. I'm going to upload both of them. If you are looking for more information on uploading images, I'll pop a link in the description below as well as at the end of this video for a video you can check out. And I'm gonna actually type in slash imagine to start my prompt. I'm gonna right click on this image. I'm gonna open it up, I should say, and I'm gonna right click on open original, copy link address, right click and paste, space, click on open original, copy link address, and I paste it in there as well. and. So I've popped pretty much both image URLs onto the prompt with a space in between them. Also, again, if you need an in-depth tutorial on how to use images in mid-journey, check out the video at the end of this one or in the description below. What we're gonna do is actually just do that first to see the results that we get. And check out these results. We got a shark with a man's head uh, and the man does look a little bit like the shark. As you can see here, if we scroll up, we've got our shark, we've got the man here, but it's not identical. It's actually just very close. So if I upscale one of these and check this out, we've got a guy's head. It looks pretty much like a photo attached to a shark's head. It's a little bit, got a few issues there, but you can sort of see what it is. Now we're gonna take these same addresses here again. Now notice it has actually changed the addresses because when we uh, actually put this on there, it actually uploads it to a mid-journey server. So I'm gonna go imagine. And this time we'll say something else. So maybe we can say, uh, you know, bright blue water. And we can say man swimming with shark. And we can see what kind of result we get when we actually add some information to the two images. And check that one out. Now we have the man with the shark instead of the man being a part of the shark, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna upscale this one and have a look. And check that out. That is pretty incredible. Now I've taken this a step further and changed the text to the man is attached to the shark and got a few other cool results that way. Now I recommend trying this, having a lot of fun with it. Try different ideas, conflicting ideas, add different bits of text on there to see how it changes the result. Also, you can try more than two images. You can try three images like this picture here and uh, really get some cool results. But um, otherwise, uh, I hope you liked the video. I hope that was something useful and fun for you to, to play with in mid-journey. If you want more information on uploading images to mid-journey, I do have an in-depth in tutorial on the basics of it, which I'll pop on the screen right now. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and I get to see you again soon. Take it easy.